welcome to Greene County. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. This is an anthem for those who look for more and never say they've seen it all. To picturesque communities like New Glarus and Monroe, Greene County is known for embracing its Swiss culture in fun and cheesy ways. Today on Discover Wisconsin, we're eating and drinking our way through Greene County. Cheers to that. <laughs> Located in South Central Wisconsin, Greene County is famous for cheese and beer, along with a rich Swiss heritage. A great place to start your trip in Greene County is at the National Historic Cheese Making Center in Monroe. Monroe is known as the gateway to cheese country and the cheese capital of the U.S. And here you can find out why. We have a museum, our heritage room. We actually do tours. We have docents that are experienced and some of them are retired cheese makers. At one time, we think we had 300 cheese factories in this county. These were mom and pop operations, and there was one at practically every crossroads. The highlight probably uh, that our visitors really enjoy is once they get down to that little Limoverstead factory and they can actually see the way that cheese was made on a farm, you know, way back in the late 1800s, we are keeping that Swiss heritage alive. Another part of Greene County's heritage is being carried on at Edelweiss Creamery in Monticello by father and son cheesemakers Bruce and Ben Workman. We're the only cheese factory left in the United States that makes a traditional wheel Swiss in a 200 pound wheel, just like they do over in Switzerland. We make it all in a copper kettle. It's a really challenging cheese to make because it's so prone to error. It was kind of like a, a lost art. Well, my dad, Bruce Workman, he's a master cheesemaker, and he's made cheese for 40-some years. And I grew up, you know, around him and around the cheese factories and worked through cheese making through high school. But then I was done, and I went to college, and I entered in my field into, into chemistry. And a couple years in, Bruce came up to me, and he's like, you know, I'd really like to make this lineage cheese factory, you know, to... Uh, restore Green County's heritage and making Emmental Swiss, and the only person I'm going to or willing to train is you. And so I'm like, oh, okay, pressure's on. So it took about a year of convincing. You know, once I started thinking about cheese making, I fell in love with it all over again. You know, I just thought it was really cool application chemistry and microbiology. I really like being a part of the, the tradition of being a small artisan factory, making a high quality product. And I think that really stands out. Green County is home to a ton of Swiss chalet style buildings that house lots of gift shops and food shops, amazing restaurants. And the second you walk in, the Swiss experience really does continue with great food, fun live music, and just wonderful people. This is the Grand Hall of Turner Hall. This was and is the place to be. So why is it called Turner Hall? Turner is a German word for gymnast, and so gy the gymnastics were started and taught in this hall. Really? Mm -hmm. So I could see a lot of things happening, but gymnastics would not have been my first guess. <laughs> it was a way to get exercise and compete, friendly competition between each other. It was very important in their culture. So the Grand Hall is obviously a big part of the Turner Hall experience, but that's not it. There's more, right? Right. We have the Rat Skeller downstairs, and we have special events that happen there monthly. There is uh, Squeezebox Night Tonight, which uh, is a jam session with accordions and any other instruments that people want to come and play. When Wisconsin meets Swiss culture, you get a night like Squeezebox. I have zero musical talent, so they gave me the cowbell. They were encouraging me to try new instruments and just have fun. 
It was a perfect green townie experience. Head to discoverwisconsin.com to learn more about Green County's Swiss heritage. And don't go away. Up next, Eric finds out how local businesses carry on Green County's traditions. Welcome back to Swiss Wisconsin here in Green County. For generations, Green County has held strongly to its Swiss culture. One big reason for this is the business owners who continue to celebrate and pay homage to their traditions through the products and experiences that they offer. So I'm here with Tony Sgragen, who is the owner of Elpendel Cheese Store here in Monroe. Tony, tell us what makes this place so special. Well, what makes the place special is that we have a lot of uh, really award-winning cheese from all over Greene County, mainly, of course, from the Emmy Ross company right here. Uh, the production floor is right behind us there. And I have about 150 plus uh, different cheeses uh, on hand, on the shelves, you know, a lot of them out for tasting, you know. This is kind of a destination for the cheese, you know, to come and taste cheese, to come and see it made. I show that to a lot of people on a daily basis. There are so many different cheese samples here. It's amazing. I'm trying the Emmentaler right here, two squares. Tony, I've never said this to anyone in my life, oh. but show me a sample of yodeling. <laughs> that wasn't too good, was it? You're gonna need a schnapps now. I think so. And <laughs> a beer. <laughs> Back in New Glarus, an absolute must stop is Pimple's Old Tavern. It was founded by Joe and Bertha Pimple in 1893. Today it's run by Chuck, who's only the bar's third owner in over 125 years. The murals on the wall were painted in 1913 by one of the boarders upstairs. You'll see an ice box over here with beer in it. That's a uh, early 1900s ice box. It's the only piece of equipment I have in this place that doesn't give me fits. The atmosphere at Pimples Tavern, I think, is very friendly and very relaxing, I think, is the big thing, the word we like to use, because we don't have a, uh, video games, we don't have a jukebox, we don't have a pool table. It's just a place to come and gather and talk, you know, something that people are kind of getting to be a lost art. I've been coming here for 50 years. Always feel welcome when you come in. It's the unofficial gathering place of New Glarus, I think. It's a Swiss game called Yas. It's a lot like the German game of Schafskopf, Sheep's Head. Well, it's the best game there is. Who do you play with here? Every <laughs> sucker I get a chance to play with. <laughs> Happy days to you. <laughs> so one of my favorite places in Wisconsin to go is Baumgartner's on the square in Monroe. So Chris, what's the history of Baumgartner's? It goes back to 1931, according to the sign. 1931, yep, Emil Baumgartner started actually by uh, selling cheese making equipment to cheese makers oh. during the Great Depression. And then the delivery drivers eventually wanted a beer when they were delivering, so then they put a keg of beer back here in the back room. It's just kind of grown from that, you know, it's always just been a, a local tavern and a, a place to stop and get some cheese and, um, you know, we try really hard to keep the uh, atmosphere in here the same as it's always been, so it's, it's kind of like stepping back in time. So you have cheese, you have beer here. You're known quite a bit for your sandwiches, too. Yeah, so our, our, our biggest sellers are definitely our cheese sandwiches. Um, we serve them the same way as they did in 1931. It's a, a big slab of cheese at room temperature on a soft, dark rye bread. Um, you know, we've got brick Swiss cheddar that we serve regularly, but then along with those is the, the Limburger, of course. That's the most, the most famous of all of them, for sure. Fun fact, Greene County is home to the only cheese factory in the U.S. that still makes Limburger, and that's Chalet Cheese Co-op, just north of Monroe. Ah, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Breath mint. Yeah, you'll, you'll be. This you'll, is gonna conquer this afterwards. It's actually for the people you're with more okay. than just for you. <laughs> <laughs> just gotta dive right in there. Whoa, it's good, right? 
it's good, but it comes at you. Yeah. Wow. But this is hugely popular. Oh yeah, we with... sell a ton of these. Yep, people love them. To download a free itinerary for your own Swiss Wisconsin getaway, visit discoverwisconsin.com. Coming up next, Mariah learns about another delicious Wisconsin product that puts Greene County on the map. Stick around. Welcome back to Green County, right here on Discover Wisconsin. Green County may be known for its cheese, but it's also a popular destination for craft beer enthusiasts. The brewery here in Monroe uh, was first established in 1845. Uh, it's been continually brewing beer since that time. When you come to our Minas gift shop, uh, we have a nice tap room and it's kind of a special place because we have a museum that uh, has memorabilia from all over the world. We have uh, artwork, we have steins, all kinds of posters from advertisements over the years. We've made beers uh, that people have enjoyed for decades and decades. Also in Monroe is Bulquarian Brew House. This used to be a, a floral shop for many years. Uh, when I first moved here, I bought flowers for my wife here. And I like to say that we still deal in flowers, but they're just hops instead of other traditional flowers. The name is a combination of a Taurus and Aquarius. I'm a Taurus, uh, my wife's Aquarius. And uh, we brew small batch ales, um, a lot of different traditional styles from a lot of different parts of the world uh, using traditional ingredients. The atmosphere here we tried to go for is more of a cafe or coffee house, uh, very welcoming. Uh, we don't have TVs on the walls. We try to encourage conversation. Uh, we have quite a bit of live music. Every Wednesday we rotate uh, either a live bluegrass jam uh, or an Irish music session with uh, some great local musicians. Green County has been fabulous to help uh, support and promote our business and our, our customers are the, the best people I could ever hope for. Whether you are a beer enthusiast or not, you have to visit New Glarus Brewing Company in New Glarus. It really is one of the most iconic and well-known uh, breweries in Wisconsin. Besides enjoying the beer, what I really enjoyed was my conversation with Deb and Dan Carey. Deb is the founder and operator of New Glarus Brewing Company and her husband Dan is the brewmaster here. They opened the company back in 1993 and I think what they've accomplished since then is nothing short of extraordinary. So if we were to time travel back to say 1992, did you ever foresee this in your future? No, this no. was not at all our vision. We just really wanted to pay our bills and take care of the people around us. And our goal was just to make world-class beer. It's not about how many barrels we can sell. It's more about making the best beer that we can and taking care of our employees and being good to our community. We try really hard to hire local yeah. and then use local uh, ingredients in our beer, mm. not only things like fruit, cherry and honeys and stuff like that, but also our labels, bottles, boxes, cans, all of that comes from Wisconsin. It's made right here. So as one of the hosts of this show, the question I get asked more than any other is, what's your favorite place in Wisconsin? And I'm going mm. to guess that one of the questions you guys get all the time is, what's your favorite beer? Oh, I wonder if we have the same kind of answer. <laughs> we say that's not a fair question. That's it's what I like say. asking who's your favorite, favorite child. child. I know. See? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to that. <laughs> Why do you think people should have Greene County and maybe New Glarus specifically on their radar as a spot to visit? This is the Napa of the North. There is no more food-centric county in the state than Greene County. It's just a great slice of Wisconsin. Check out behind-the-scenes photos from our cruise time in Greene County at discoverwisconsin.com. After the break, Eric takes in one of the biggest and most anticipated events in the state. Stay with us. We're back in Greene County discovering Swiss Wisconsin. You can't leave Greene County without hitting up some of the many cheese stores and taking a few slices of cheese country home with you, starting here at Decatur Dairy in Broadhead. Greene County has the most master cheesemakers in the state, so that tells you the cheese industry here is well thought of and the people that are in it 
take a lot of pride in what they're doing. We have 100, 110 varieties of cheeses. We cut it fresh off the block and we started doing a grilled cheese sandwich for lunches or just for snacking. People just kind of come and hang out. So it's become kind of a destination for people, which we're really proud of. But most of all, I think it's the service we give everybody. It's just a little different way of purchasing cheese. It's an experience. Another fantastic spot for cheese is the family-run Maple Leaf Cheese Store in Judah. We have approximately 17 factories in this area that we get cheese from. We're also noted for our cheese trays, which we make fresh on order. It's the camaraderie of all the cheese factories and the cheese makers. If something was wrong or somebody had a problem, they all band together to help you out. And that's been ever since I've been in the industry. There are a lot of uniquely Wisconsin events, and I think Cheese Days is definitely among the top. Cheese Days is a three-day weekend-long celebration celebrating Monroe and Green County's cheese heritage in mid-September, it runs every other year. And it's just a lot of fun, a lot of music, a lot of food, a lot of beverages, and of course, a lot of varieties of cheese. Fonda, I didn't know you guys were in Monroe. Oh, sure, we've been here for a really, really long time. We're a fourth generation family-owned cheese factory. Very nice. Well, I have not tried your regular Havarti. Oh, I'm gonna do that right now. It's a, it's a really good, we're very proud of that. We've been making that for uh, over 15 years, uh, numerous awards. It's got a nice, smooth flavor. That melts in your mouth, and not just because it's a hot day. Exactly, that's fantastic. exactly right. We are here from Rockville, Illinois, and we love Wisconsin. We are here for the food, the fun, the yeah. beer, and the cheese. cheese. <laughs> you can actually get a whole variety of foods at Cheese Days, but you have to get their signature dish, the Monroe Optimist Club Deep Fried Cheese Curds. I did everything from a chicken dance in what might be the world's largest single choreographed chicken dance, watch cows getting milked, and really just have a great time in one of the most beautiful town squares in Wisconsin, perhaps the country, with thousands of other people just having a great time. Excuse me. You know, Greene County, it's just really the best of Wisconsin rolled into one county, and they celebrate Swiss heritage to the fullest. And uh, I think that's a big plus, just like the flame. There's lots of great history, amazing food, fun people, live music. It's such an interesting, unique corner of the state of Wisconsin. You see why people do flock here from all over the world. It's a very, very Wisconsin place, and that's what Greene County is really all about. <laughs> Discover Wisconsin is the state's leading media brand. Continue the adventure at discoverwisconsin.com and stream episodes on YouTube and Roku TV.